We wait in different ways for different things. It really depends on what or whom you're waiting for. For example, if you're in the airport and a plane is coming in with a loved one that you haven't seen for a long time and you're really looking forward to a visit, that's totally different than standing in line waiting for some IRS officer to check your tax returns. <laughs> you're waiting in both places, but that, it's different. Or if you're waiting for the birth of a, a baby, that's far different from the vigil that you keep at the bedside of a dying loved one. The who or the what is important. And in this season of waiting that we call Advent, we're waiting for the God of justice to come. At least that's how Baruch describes it in the first reading. When he says, Jerusalem, wrap yourself in the cloak of justice from God. You will be named the peace of justice. In scriptural terms, justice isn't so much the idea of balancing the scale. Justice really has to do with right relationships. Right relationships with God, right relationships with each other, and even right relationships to creation, to the environment. Advent really is a time for us to examine our lives and to see what it is that we're doing with our lives. There's a famous Jesuit poet by the name of Gerard Manley Hopkins who, among other things, wrote a sonnet that began as Kingfishers Catch Fire. And what he says there is that our actions really capture our identity. He wrote, What I do is me, for that I came. And he goes on, The just man justices. Poets can make up words. There is no such word as justices, uh, but it is, it ca ca catches your attention. And how we do justice in scriptural terms is the question of establishing the, this right relationship with God, each other, and the environment. If we're talking about our just relationship with God, we need to ask ourselves, have we begun to put other persons or other things, other events, on a higher level than God plays in our life. We need to examine the quality, not necessarily the quantity, of our own prayer life. The fact that you're in church this afternoon is a positive sign. That's great. But all of us need to develop some type of private, personal prayer on a regular basis so that this relationship with God will be right. Hopkins goes on in that same sonnet and urges us to see Christ present in others. It's in establishing this right relationship with others that we bring about scriptural justice. Hopkins writes, For Christ plays in 10,000 places, in eyes and limbs not his. Christ plays in 10,000 places, lovely in limbs and lovely in eyes, not his. So Advent is a time for you and me to see how Christ is present in the other, or how I make Christ present through my actions to the other, in eyes and limbs, not Christ's, but mine, but yours. In the second reading, Paul offered a prayer that the Philippians would be able to discern what is of real value. And might that be our prayer as well? What I do is who I am. How do I position myself and, and engage myself in things that are of real value? Perhaps this time of waiting, this Advent, can be to check out who I am, a time to discern my values, and how it is that we wrap ourselves in the mantle of justice that establishes this right relationship with God, with others, and the world.